Hello everybody, Georgia Burns here. Today I'm going to show you how I made this card. This is not attached to a card. Um, to save my cards from when I really need them, I am just making card fronts. Well, that was my thinking when I made this card. Now I am going to make all my cards for the next couple of weeks, thank you cards, and I'm going to be sending them to services that have been kept open in this time, at this time, to help us, um, like the National Health, the doctor's surgery, the chemists, shops, police, you name it, who could do with a thank you card. And that's what I'm going to do and I think everybody, all card makers, should do the same. You know, you'll all be struggling, or oh, what kind of card can I make? Make some thank you cards and send them out to your local doctor or the National Health or hospitals, as in the USA. Um, anybody who's still working to serve us. So that's what I'm going to do. So all these will be changed to thank you. I have made three cards with the poppy stamp so the next three cards you'll see or next three videos you'll see I'm going to be using just the poppy stamp sets um, peaceful moments just for the thank you and then printed painted poppies this one obviously I'm just using peaceful moment dies and I'm just I've just cut out all these dies I've cut them all out um, so I'm not using this stamp set for this card yet I'm confusing you, I know I am confused myself that's because I'm going to video all three together and it's all on the table for the background here I have used the sweetest oh my god I forgot what they're called anyway these dies and I've used this one sweetest label dies I think they're called not sure uh, from stamping up anyway so I have got all my bits here in this bag the paper is black and white striped this is from oh, this is an old retired bit but in a new paper there is a black and white striped I didn't want to cut into a 12 by 12 when I knew I had a small piece from last time so this is one inch wide by three and a half inches long. Um, I've got a card base, no I haven't, I've got a card base of five and five eighths by three and seven eighths. I have my black cut out piece and this is actually four inches by two and three quarters and this bit will get stuck on there like that. And then I have all my bits that I'm sticking out. I haven't got my gems. Let me get my gems. Right, I've got my gems handy. And I've also got my embossing stuff handy because that's what we'll do for that. So, to get started, let's do the embossing first. I've got a scrap of white here, black, sorry, scrap of black. I've got my Versamark. I've got my embossing body. With it being white, we don't want specks everywhere. So I need this stamp. Uh, thank you. Obviously this thank you stamp's not as long as that happy birthday stamp I used. 
but it will still give the same effect I think I hope right ink that up stamp it down nice cover that up and with this scrap of paper somewhere Oh, look, you can see I was playing with my teddy stamp the other day. Someone needed a baby card. Right, I'm using white embossing powder. to the side cover that up that's right, going to be a bit noisy just heating it up going to do is cut round the word thank you I'm not cutting right up to it I'm just cutting leaving I think a sixth of an inch border I'm not cutting it straight I'm zigzagging it don't want it to be straight you're all keeping yourself safe and indoors for those who are non-essential workers and if you're having to work I'd like to thank you I'm on lockdown for 12 weeks because of my health. There we are. We have our thank you. I'm just going to get rid of that now. Alright. Once you've cut out all the pieces, this card is quite quick. So, that will go there. But first of all, we need to stick this piece on. So what I'm going to do, grab some glue, is just glue that bit and make sure it's even. And straight. Stick that on like that. Right. 
Right. And then we'll just stick this flat on the card. To the bottom, leaving a half inch gap. All right, with our poppy, we are going to figure out how it goes on, like that. And all I did here was just glue the middle. Ooh. This is not my idea, this card. This card came off of Pinterest. And if you give me a minute, I will look to see who made it. I'll take a minute or two to open up. Right, now this goes on dimensionals. The little ones and the big ones. Let's get these out. Let's see if I can find this on. There it is. from caseandmain.com oh chaseandmain.com and that is from Pinterest I think all these ideas that I'm going to do the next three cards are from Pinterest And if there's a name, I will tell you about it. Right, with this, we just stick this in the roughly in the middle. And then with our leaves, Still in the bag. Come on out. Right. First, we'll put a cut a black one that shape and a white one that shape. And these are going to go in the middle, obviously. And this one I'm just going to sit in between like that. Then the leaves. Um, I just glue and place underneath. Put that one there. And this one down here. This one. And uh, no, it needs to go under some more. There. And do another one. There. And then we've got these long leaves, which I'm going to put, I'm actually going to break off. 
make it easier to place them under the poppy. Do the same with this one. And the ones you've got off, you could, once I broke off, could place them, I think I will, rather than waste them, place them under there. Where can I put this one? i just chop that little bit off. Place this one under there. Right. That's it. And this we can glue just there. Just there, like that. And I'm going to put a small dimensional under at the end. I have to cut it. glue on there and place that there like that and with our card base oh I never told you about this did I this is eight and quarter by five and seven eighths scored up for a one eighth folded in half and burnished and what I'm going to do is place that on there And there is today's card. And I will send that to someone on the National Health app. Thank you, Stroy. Not really. Let's... That's better. So that's the one I originally did with a happy birthday. And that's the one I've done with a thank you. I just remembered I haven't put the gems on. So let's get them. And I'll put five on this one. Two at the bottom. And a cluster of three at the top. So that's our card for today. Hope you like it and I hope you make some cards for the uh, services that are still hard at work for us and you stay safe. Wash your hands. If you like my cards please subscribe. If you um, want to see more please um, 
press the notification button and you'll be notified of any more videos I upload which is usually a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. All I can say is thanks for visiting and I hope to see you again soon.